Welcome to Five Minutes with. Today's guest, Cloverdale Catholic School educational assistant and alumni, Jack Balsevich. Hey everyone, welcome to Five Minutes with. Today we have a very special guest. Right from from age four, I think age four up. Sure. He has been a part of Cloverdale Catholic School. Please wow. welcome Jack Balsevich. Hello. Hey, hey, Jason. Great to be here. Uh, yeah. I just, I just want to say uh, uh, it's great following the lead of, uh, you know, experienced teachers with many years of experience, um, the, the superintendent and, uh, you know, our future principal. And then, for, and then for this episode, you decided to go to the other end of the spectrum and grab me. So I just want to say th thanks. So I really respect that. That's good. Well, uh, it is about respect because um, oh. I see you probably as future boss, future superintendent. Yeah, I plan on being where you where you're sitting right now in five years, five and years or less. Weird. It's weird that you want to be in my basement. I don't know how that's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is getting weird. So, um, tell me about how you got to be working at Cloverdale Catholic. So the years in between when you graduated grade seven from CCS. Yep. Yep. To when you came back in our door, uh, what was that journey like? Tell me about it. That journey, what was that like? It was, uh, it was surviving high school, doing that. Uh, and you went and to Holy Cross, right? Went to Holy Cross, yeah. Loved it there. Um, then I went to uh, BCIT after for video editing. Then I went to Douglas College because that was the only real uh, college that would uh, you know, accept me and uh, not based on my academic record <laughs> so i went there for two years and then and you guys welcomed me i guess well what's the name of that program that you took at douglas um uh classroom and community support okay so yeah. just so everybody knows you're now working as an educational assistant at our school i guess you help, so, yeah. uh you help a variety of kids but kids uh, sometimes who have a uh, challenges uh, mm. and you're doing a great job so thank you jack yeah, no problem. I, I like to think I'm doing an okay job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you went to Holy Cross. Who was your favorite teacher at Holy Cross? Favorite teacher? Oh, man. Um, the lunch ladies? They were pretty good. <laughs> I always bought a hot dog and muffin from, their, from them, and they were always... They, oh, never smi they never smiled or anything, but I could, I could tell that they loved their jobs. <laughs> so. Okay, no, but really, besides okay. the lunch ladies... <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. There's got to be uh, one teacher who you can think of who was like. Yeah, probably. Uh, I I really like Mr. Reese. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. he still. I'm pretty sure he still works there. He, he is. Yeah. He taught me law and history. Okay. Uh, I was, and religion as well. I was. Uh, I don't know if I can have any takeaways from the classes because I don't think I, I have terrible memory. But uh, yeah, I remember him being a a, a fun teacher. So. I've heard a lot of people say that he's he's a favorite for quite a few. Kids. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. Were you involved in band when you were going through school? Nope, no musical talent whatsoever. Actually, on the uh, on my other side, I have two guitars. Oh yeah, I don't see that. know how to play a thing. But <laughs> I, have it. I have it though, just to, those... just in case I get the inkling to start to learn. But uh, <laughs> those aren't rock band guitars. No, <laughs> no, I wish they were, because then I'd be playing <laughs> rock band. But no. so you have two. Yeah, I mean, I can understand someone having one guitar in their room okay. if you didn't know how to play guitar, but you actually have two I have guitars. two. I have an electric and an acoustic. It's, I go all out, just like, <laughs> just in case. If I want to learn electric, I'm, I'm set. If I want to learn acoustic, hey, it's there. So, you know, as you mentioned earlier, Royston is uh, learning different skills during this time. Yeah. And you were decidedly not doing so. And I'm not. I'm watching Netflix instead. I'm figuring out who Joe Exotic is. Um, I need you to also explain, um, because you have just recently moved, and okay. usually when people move, they, they set everything up exactly how they want it. Wow, okay. And I want you to tell me why there's a goat head on your okay. head. Well, I didn't set up everything exactly the way I want. I'm just following what, uh, what my parents say. And then when they leave, <laughs> when they leave, it's I'm doing whatever I want then. Well, it's really um, nice of you to buy a condo for them and let them live in it for a little yeah, while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm making enough money where I can, uh, they can just retire now and just live off my, <laughs> my paychecks, right? So that's, that's the plan. What have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Um, you know, sl uh, slowly, slowly going insane, <laughs> um, just like everyone else. You didn't um, have that far to go, mind you. Say that again? You didn't have that far to go. No, no. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I was, I was on the brink already. But um, uh, on, your, on your last episode, Royston said uh, he's learning new skills and that uh, 
Netflix is a bad lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, I, I challenge that and say <laughs> Netflix is the only lifestyle to have. And uh, craft dinner and hot dogs is a staple for everyone's diet. That's, that's what I say to counter Royston's, yeah. uh, Royston's life. Well, what does he know? All right. Um, now, this is the first time you've been allowed to speak to anyone outside of your home. Exactly. No, I've been uh, silenced, really. Yeah. Your parents have the internet filter cranked up to max. It, 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 exactly. I'm actually not even allowed to leave my room. They, like, throw my dinner at me and just, uh, I'm stuck here. So, so really, this is like, I'm, I'm like, I feel like flash, like, signals to say help me and stuff. Well, is there, is there any messages you want to pass on to the staff? Because there is a chance this might actually go public. Wow. Um, no. To end this interview, uh, yeah. as we play it out, I will play one of your favorite bands, favorite songs. What's your what's something that is all about Jack? Oh, cool! I, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Genesis, so if you could play uh, uh, "Dancing with the Moonlit Night," I really like that song. I, I've I've started listening to them over this pandemic, and I'm I'm, yeah. enjoy, I'm enjoying them. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I grew up when Genesis was a thing. Yeah. They're, for you, it's retro. For me, it's yeah, they're like 1920s, right? Uh, <laughs> hilarious. All right, with that, we will end. Thank you, Jack. No problem. You are, you don't give a damn. Bursting your belt, this your homemade chef.